Hello everyone, welcome back to another game unboxing. Today in the mail I received Cinephile and the Cinephile uh, Splat Pack. This was a game I had backed on Kickstarter um, back in April of 2018. And the game is finally um, shipping to backers. So I backed at the level where you get the base game as well as the um, an expansion pack. So the reason I had backed this is I really like the game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. I consider myself to be pretty good at it. Um, when I used to work in a restaurant, we would play the game constantly. We played it on a rafting trip, and everybody was always surprised that I was able to get these um, actors and actresses to Kevin Bacon. So the um, main draw of Cinephile is that that is one of the modes you can play. Um, it doesn't have to be Kevin Bacon, though. So on the back here, we have a bunch of different um, actors and actresses. And again, a uh, game is uh, created by Corey Everett and illustrated by uh, Steve Isaacs. We'll get further into these cards once we get the box open. But basically, I believe one of the modes is, um, so on the side here, uh, it's one deck, 150 cards, and multiple ways to play, as you can see right there. Um, let's see. So game one is six degrees. Connect two actors, actors through their films in six degrees or less. I imagine you could do that with Kevin Bacon as well. So let's say you just draw a card and you connect that actor or actress to Kevin Bacon. Or you can draw two cards and connect those two um, actors or actresses together in six degrees or less. There is also uh, filmography. So it says, um, name more films from an actor's resume than your opponent's and more. So been really looking forward to this. I believe it was um, originally slated to be released uh, last year in the fall. However, I believe it did get picked up by a major uh, publisher, so it looks like it's an imprint of Penguin Random House now. So I believe that um, made the game take a little bit longer that they were negotiating these deals with these publishers, but I'm just really glad to have the game. So we have the base game and this expansion. And as we saw, we have the uh, alien egg on the cover there. We're going to go ahead, we're going to open the base game first. So there we go. Let's see how it actually slides out right there. So we have uh, two decks of cards here. So for example, we have Winona Ryder on that card. All these cards are really well il illustrated. So we have Winona Ryder. There's also uh, Lawrence Fishburne. And we have, let's see what we have here. For news and updates about expansion packs, t-shirts, and more, visit cinephilegame.com. I guess this is just like a little thing that you can fold open. Looks like some, just a little bit of advertising there. We have a notepad. So I guess if you're playing the filmography game, you can use, write your answers on these on these notes, on these little notebook. Not exactly thrilled with that. Doesn't really seem super necessary. And then we set, have our little rule book. So how to play. So let's see what we have here. So we have uh, filmography, we have a uh, head-on, we have a uh, movie actor, uh, take six, and six degrees. You can, it says play social or uh, play solo. So let's just go through some of these rules really quick. So filmography, um, this is easy, apparently an easier mode. Um, object of the game is to name more movies by one actor than your opponents. Um, actors with longer filmographies, like Samuel L. Jackson, will be in longer rounds, while actors with fewer screen appearances, such as David Bowie, will be shorter rounds. One player draws a card from the deck and reads the name of the actor in film. Um, each, act, each actor or actress is from a particular film. So this version of Winona Ryder is from Reality Bites. This Lawrence Fishburne here is from that's the Lawrence Fishburne from Boys in the Hood. And in the film. Taking turns, each subsequent player must name another film in which that actor appeared. When a player can't name another film or repeats a film that has already been earned or named, that player will have a chance to knock that player out of the game. The second player names an eligible film. The previous player um, is out and the round continues. Continue taking turns until, only, until two players remain. When one of the remaining players can't name another film, the other player must name a film to win the round. If they can, they win and keep the card. If they can't, Dealer player gets the card, and the round is over. Uh, next player draws a card from the deck to begin a new round. 
The player with the most cards after a certain number of rounds wins. Uh, next up is Head On. This is uh, easy, or another um, easy mode. So there's like different, um, there's a, like for example, Movie Actor is Intermediate. But Movie Geek says the object is to correctly guess more actors or films in 60 seconds than your opponents can. Um, you may play as individuals, pairs, or teams. One player draws a card from the deck without looking at it. That player holds the card face up against their forehead. Bef before play begins, the player must decide if they want to guess either the actor or the film on the card. Timer is 60 seconds. Here's a timer on your phone. Okay, so use your phone to have the timer. Um, the players shout out clues without using the actor's name or any words from the film's title on the card. If the player guesses correctly, they keep the card, draw a new one, and continue playing. So basically, like if I draw this Lawrence Fishburne card, I basically give clues about Lawrence Fishburne um, his character and maybe lines from that movie or things like that. Uh, movie actor says this one is intermediate. Uh, object of the game is to be the last player standing. One player draws a card from the deck and reads the movie on the card. The next player must name an actor from that movie. They may, um, they may, but do not have to choose the actor from the card. Let's see. So, player must name, name an actor from that movie. So, if I say, uh, what else do we have here? But yeah, so if I if I say Lawrence Fishburne, I have to the other player then has to name, um, or if I say Boys in the Hood, somebody else has to name another actor from Boys in the Hood. Same with Reality Bites. We'll open these up in just a second to take a closer look at some of the other cards. The following player must name another movie that actor has been in. The next player names another actor from the movie, and so on. No repeat aloud. So if I say Lawrence Fishburne, I can say then The Matrix. Um, let's see. Following player must name another movie an actor has been in. The next player names another actor from that movie. So I guess if, we, if I go Lawrence Fishburne from uh, Boys in the Hood, somebody else has to name another actor from Boys in the Hood. Then an, the other person, the next player, has to name another movie that that particular actor was in. And then I guess you, you go from movie to movie, it looks like. Uh, we have Take 6. This one's also intermediate. Object of the game is to be the first player to... Uh, shed your entire hand of cards. Each player is dealt six cards. Take um, Turn over a card from the manning pile to begin the round. During each round, play moves in a circle. Each player must try to put down one of their cards using the rules of six degrees. See game mode five to um, explain the connection to draw the card. For each degree, that player receives one point. The fewer number of points, the better. If the player cannot make a connection, they do not receive any points and must take another card from the draw pile. Play moves to the next player. Player wants to swap out the cards in their hand. They may put it on the bottom and draw a pile, but must take two cards from the deck to replace it. The first player who gets rid of their entire hand wins. If two or more players get rid of their entire hand at the same time, or in, in the same round, the player with the lowest score wins. And now we have uh, six degrees. So obviously this one says this, this is the one that's expert. But let's say, um, for example, you draw Joaquin Phoenix and Winona Ryder. Um, and here's the example. It says, Joaquin Phoenix was in the village with Sigourney Weaver. Um, Sigourney Weaver was an alien resurrection with Winona Ryder. So if I want to do Lawrence Fishburne to Winona Ryder, I can say, um, let me see if I have any actual connections to do this. But uh, Lawrence Fishburne, I don't know if Keanu Reeves was in that. He may have been. I don't, I don't believe he was, but I, I could be incorrect. But I'll say, um, Lawrence Fishburne is in the Matrix with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is in Speed with Sandra Bullock. I don't, I don't even know if I'm trying, getting this one correct, but or let's say so. Winona, let's do Winona Ryder again. So Winona Ryder is in um, Beetlejuice with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is in. Um, I, I I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of stumped already. But so basically, you take these two actors or actresses, and then you have to connect them in six degrees or less. I, I, I do believe there is a connection here. So let's see. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. What else have I seen Lawrence Fishburne in? So he's in... Um, he's just in the two newest John Wick movies. Um, he's obviously, obviously in The Matrix. Obviously in... Um, what was it? Event Horizon with Sam Neill. So you got to have somehow connect Lawrence Fishburne to Winona Ryder or Winona Ryder to Lawrence Fishburne. Um, let's try this again. So, Lawrence Fishburne. Let's start out here. 
Hmm. See what, see what else we can do. We can go with Halle Berry. Halle Berry being... If you can somehow, can somehow get to Natalie Portman, you can do the whole Black Swan thing. All right, so let's actually open these cards and see if there's a better connection we can actually do. Because these cards are all actually really, really interestingly um, drawn. Just get... There we go. Alright, so, th now since the plastic wrap is off, there is Lawrence Fishburne, uh, Boys in the Hood there. Um, I'm not a fan of this shade of yellow. I, I, I kind of find it a little bit hard to read. I wish it was just like a little bit easier to read there. But we have uh, Lawrence Fishburne, there's Tom Cruise from Eyes Wide Shut. So we have Tom Cruise... We have Jennifer Lopez, Sigourney Weaver. Um, who's this? Rinko Gulachi from Pacific Rim. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably not. Um, Cerise Ronan from... I think she was in the original Dragon Tattoo movies. Uh, there's Sissy Spacek. Uh, Tilda Swinton. Jessica Chastain. Which one is this? Uh, Crimson Peak. Haven't heard of that particular movie. Uh, Catherine Keener. Robert Downey Jr. So, right there, there's Robert Downey Jr., uh, Pam Greer, we have Laura Dern, Will Smith, we got Will Smith from Bad Boys there, here's Bill Murray from Life Aquatic, and so on, uh, Amy Adams, we have Robert Redford, uh, Steve Buscemi, Dennis Hopper, Adam Sandler, uh, Cameron Diaz, which one is that? i uh, being John Malkovich, alright, Arnold Schwarzenegger, we have Ben Stiller, Colin Farrell. Uh, there's The Rock, so Dwayne Johnson. Helen Mirren, Helena Bonham Carter, a uh, Fight Club version. Javier Bardem, Jim Carrey, that eternal time sign. Uh, Kristen Stewart, Robin Williams, and so on. And we'll open this other deck here. I definitely plan on bringing this game out to a lot of different events because I, my friends and I are all pretty big movie fans. So I think this is just this is actually going to be. I can see this being a go-to game. So here, here's Winona Ryder. So we have Winona Ryder. We have uh, Nicolas Cage. There's a uh, was it Raising Arizona? Uh, Greta Gerwig or Ger Gerwig from 20th Century Woman. I think I've seen that one. Jeff Goldblum, which one is that? Adventure in Buckaroo Banzai. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, is that Under the Skin? Yeah, that's Under the Skin. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. We have Penelope Cruz. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Samuel L. Jackson. Jurassic Park version of Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, Sean Connery. Of course, they go with the Zardoz one. Classic. Uh, Marlon Brando. Uh, Ralph Fiennes. Is it, or is it, is it Ralph or Rafe? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Uh, Halle Berry. Uma Thurman, uh, Jason Schwartzman, Warren Beatty. We have Gene Hackman. Which Hackman is that? Conversation. I actually have not seen that. Natalie. P There's Natalie Portman. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Uh, Dustin Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Jack Nichol uh Jack Nicholson. Uh, Clint Eastwood. We have Viola Davis. Gwyneth Paltrow. Al Pacino. John C. Riley, and more. So let's just draw two random cards out here. We'll do the Six Degrees game. And we'll shuffle this deck, too. Cut each deck, and we'll draw a card at the top. So first one is, we have Clint Eastwood. All right. And we have, we'll do the Six Degrees, we have Tom Cruise. So Clint Eastwood and Tom Cruise. Let's see if we can make a connection between these two actors. Clint Eastwood and Tom Cruise. All right. So Clint Eastwood. Let's see who we can use with Clint Eastwood here. Clint Eastwood. Uh, I 
think I maybe got it. Okay, so Clint Eastwood. Yeah, we'll go with uh, what's called The Perfect World. I know Kevin Costner's in that. Uh, Eastwood, I believe, also maybe directed that movie. I'm not sure. So Tom Cruise. So we say Clint Eastwood is in A Perfect World with Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Let's see. Kevin Costner is in. Um, I'm trying to think of the movie. JFK. JFK had a lot of actors that were movie movies of Kevin Bacon, and then of course Kevin Bacon is in A Few Good Men with Tom Cruise. Um, if I knew any of the other cast that was, in, yeah, I guess it was. So Clint Eastwood is in A Perfect World with um, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner is in JFK with. Um, was Kevin Bacon in JFK? No. So Clint, Kevin Costner is in JFK with. Uh, I'm not really sure. Actually, let's let, let's IMDb this. I know this is cheating, but we're gonna just um, bring up IMDb here. Use the phone app on this. So IMDb. Because I know I, I know I had the final step of connecting Kevin Bacon to Tom Cruise through a few good men, but let's look up, um, let's look up JFK. JFK 1991. I, I, I could be completely wrong here. Let's bring up the cast. Full cast, all right. So full cast, we have Sally Kirkland, um, Jody Farber, uh, so where's Kevin Costner? Ed Asner, Vincent D'Onofrio, Gary Oldman, Brian Doyle Murray, Wayne Knight, Michael Rooker, yeah, Gary Grubbs, Joe Pesci. Not really sure um, how I would connect though, but let's see. So Tom, let's let's go back. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. All right. All right. So we have Tom Cruise. We have Clint Eastwood. So Clint Eastwood is in a perfect world. We could even go with Laura Dern because she's in. Um... Yeah. Okay. So since we did look at IMDb, saw that Wayne Knight is in JFK. So Clint Eastwood is in, is in a perfect, perfect world with Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner is in. Um, or Clint Eastwood is in a perfect world with Laura Dern. Laura Dern is in Jurassic Park with. Um... Hmm. Maybe I can't. It's a lot easier if you just do it to Kevin Bacon. So just do that. Tom Cruise, Kevin Bacon, a few good men with Kevin Bacon. Clint Eastwood also directed um, Mr. Grimmer that also featured Kevin Bacon. Let's try uh, two more actors here. So we have uh, Marion Cotillard, I believe. Uh, I know she's in The Dark Knight Rises um, and in, um, I think it was Shutter Island as well. So we have Marion Cotillard and we have Jennifer Jason Lee. So. Not super familiar if I'm really familiar with a lot of her films. Uh, Marion Cotillard and Jennifer Jason Lee. Not exactly sure about that one. Let's try one more actor here. Let's try one that I actually could know, that I might know, that I could actually maybe get. Marion Cotillard. We have Jonah Hill. All right, we'll, we'll try it with Schwarzenegger. All right. So, Marion Cotillard. Let's see what we can do. So, um, we have Tom. If you go with the Batman route, we have Tom Hardy. We have Christian Bale. Um, a bunch of other actors. Like, yeah, okay, this one's actually actually works out pretty well. So, Marion Cotillard is in uh, The Dark Knight Rises with Christian Bale. Christian Bale is in Terminator Salvation, and Arnold Schwarzenegger has a cameo in that playing the... Um, the newly revealed T-800. So that's how that would work. Um, that was So that's the um, six degrees rule set. What other, what other games do we have here? So we have uh, film, so Movie Geek. Let's, let's try Movie Geek. So that's basically our filmography. So if we're doing filmography on Harvey Keitel, it would be like, this is Harvey Keitel from what film? From Bad Lieutenant. So next, like if I was playing, playing by my, with my, my, someone else, I'd be like, all right, I'll say Pulp Fiction. Next person might say From Dust Till Dawn. I guess we're on a Tarantino kick now. Next person, 
might say, um, if it counts, we can say you can say Inglorious Bastards, because Harvey Keitel has a cameo in Inglorious Bastards where um, Christoph Waltz is talking over the phone with somebody from the military, and it was voiced by um, Harvey Keitel. But let's see. So we did uh, Pulp Fiction. We did... Um, what did we do? Pulp Fiction, From Dust Till Dawn, Inglorious Bastards, and then you just keep going until one player can't get another person. Let's try one more with, with that mode here. Uh, so we have Nicole Kidman. So Nicole Kidman from... This, that's Moulin Rouge. but N N So Moulin Rouge obviously can't be used because it's right there. Um, person might say, Days of Thunder. Next person might say, Batman... Um, was it Batman Forever? I don't know why I'm choosing Batman Forever, because it's a terrible Batman film. Well, I mean, I, I had fun with it when I was 15, but um, yeah, I've, that's not a good movie. Anyway, so we have Days of Thunder, we have Batman and uh, Batman Forever. Somebody might say um, Aquaman. She plays the mother in um, the new Jason Momoa Aquaman movie, Aquaman movie. The next person might come up and say Eyes Wide Shut, and so on. So that was filmography. Um, see. Game two, um, head on. Basically, I think it's like you take it, you put it to your forehead, and then you have people guess. Movie actor, so after game is the last player standing, one player draws a card from the deck and reads the name, names the movie on the card. So this is Moulin Rouge. Next player must name an actor from that movie. I think Jude Law was in that, maybe? No, it was Ewan McGregor. So yeah, so you're like, Ewan McGregor. Um, the next player must name an actor from that movie, and the they may, um, they may, but do not have to choose the the actor from the card. Okay, the following player must name another movie that the actor's been in. So if someone says Ewan McGregor, the next person that does Ewan McGregor might say the Star Wars prequels. And then, um, somebody else names an actor from, like if I say Star Wars Episode One, the next person for Ewan McGregor, the next person can say, um, Liam Neeson. The next person then has to name another Liam. It sounds like they had to name another Liam Neeson movie. Let's say they name, uh, yeah. So that's how, I believe that's how that works. So that's the base game. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open uh, the expansion pack as well. I didn't expect the Six Degrees mode to be as um, difficult as it actually is. But I suppose you could also just draw a card and do it with Kevin Bacon. So let's let's try that. So Kevin Bacon to Laura Dern. All right. So here's Laura Dern. Again, I think I already figured this one out. So Laura Dern is in Jurassic Park with Wayne Knight, who's in JFK with um, Kevin Costner. Kim, uh, actually, why am I still thinking about the Kevin Costner's connection? So it's Laura Dern. So Laura Dern is in... What's the last Laura Dern movie I saw? Laura Dern, she was actually in The Master with... Um, do I want to call it Philip Seymour Hoffman? Philip Seymour Hoffman will work. Yeah, so Laura Dern is in The Master with um, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman is in The Big Lebowski with... Who's the actor I'm trying to get connected? With John Goodman, and John Goodman is in a film called Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and open the splat pack here. I believe this is just more cards, more actors, more actresses. All right, for example, so we have, now we have Anthony Hopkins from Silence of the Lambs. We have um, Danielle uh, Cayula. I'm, Probably not even pronouncing that correctly. From Get Out, also in Black Panther, is the guy who blew the horn to some of the rhinos. Uh, we have Jennifer Connelly. We have Johnny Depp. Uh, James McAvoy. That's the uh, from Split. Uh, Vincent Price. Uh, Kyle MacLachlan. Vanessa uh, Redgrave. Uh, Keith Sutherland. Donald Sutherland. Uh, Griffin Dune. So yeah, this looks like this is like very much like a horror, horror, horror expansion. Simon Pegg from Shaun of the Dead. We have uh, Killian Murphy from Twenty Eight Days Later. Uh, Anna Ta Taylor Joy from The Witch. We have John Hurt from Alien. So it doesn't even show his face there. It's pretty funny. Uh, John Hurt. We have Peter Cushing from. Uh, it says Frankenstein must be destroyed. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin from Star Wars as well. Uh, Drew Barrymore from Scream. We have Christopher Lee. 
another Star Wars connection right there, playing, um, obviously, Dracula, but Count Dooku, as well as Saruman. We have Bruce Campbell from The Evil Dead. And this is Jimmy Lee Curtis from Halloween. So the, the Splat Pack being um, horror and, I guess, somewhat somewhat science fiction, I suppose you can say, because uh, Alien is basically sci-fi horror. So basically you just mix these in to your um, game, and then you have these this group of actors and actresses to also use. I can see myself uh, spending quite a lot of time with this game, so really glad I backed it on Kickstarter. My friend told me about it, and backed it um, basically as soon as I could, and now it's finally at least shipping to uh, to backers. So this, this has been Cinephile. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care.